Hi, I'm Tom Sapel, author of the book, Can You Sing a High C Without Straining? I'm also author of the book, Never Get Another Cold. I've done a lot of research on cold and flu prevention for singers, and in this book, you'll see why eating pork is not a good idea if you sing, because pork is a host to the trichinosis parasite, which can cause flu-like symptoms, so we want to avoid that if you, uh, if you sing. But pork is also a host to some other potentially life-threatening parasites. In this video, I want to share with you a testimonial from one of my students, Monica Hermosa, who recently nearly died and did have to undergo brain surgery as a result from a parasite she contracted from pork. You know, and, and it's very easy to get this parasite. Um, especially, you know, if you're a pork consumer because you're, you're putting your risk higher when you are eating it. I mean, you really don't know where this pork is being. You really don't know what the condition of this animal was raised, you know. Um, from where I come from, I know the sanitation-wise is not good. So I used to go to my uncle's farms and I used to see the pigs on their barns and they just eat anything. I mean, they're like standing on poop and they're eating, it's really gross. And that's how, that's how they grow up out there. I mean, I don't know how it's here in the United States, but uh, people should be very careful of, of eating pork. I personally, I got pork out of my diet, you know, I'm not eating pork anymore. You know? So a pig in, in the United States, it's still a pig. Yeah, it it's is. It's still going to eat the same garbage and potentially have the same uh, capacity to host this parasite. Yeah. How large was the cyst that they took out of your oh, brain? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. You know, when they, uh, when they, the doctor after the surgery, you know, uh, he came and see me, you know, after I got out of the intensive care. And he told my husband and I that when they opened, uh, he opened me up, you know, uh, he said inside one of the ventricles, the cyst was about this big, Thomas. So like a small and, baseball? Uh, kind of like a mouse, but, uh, like the mouse of a computer mouse, mm -hmm. the size of a computer mouse. And we just were like, what? And he said, I lacerated because where he was, we couldn't take it out. So what happened is they lacerated. Um, you know, he put the valve and everything, and then he closed me out. And then four days later, I was uh, let go from the hospital because, you know, they, they're done the job and, and the, the, the sham was working fine and everything. So I came home, and a week later, I started seeing double vision on my right eye. So I got really freaked out. So, you know, in one of the appointments that I went, the doctor said, there's something wrong and I need to look at what's wrong. So they did another MRI a week after I was out of the hospital. And in the, the MRI show, uh, number one, it showed that um, the reason I had double vision was because of my, they call it six nerve pulse, which is when the swelling was pressing so much on this side of the nerve that is, it caused this, this thing. And actually, you know, I still had the double vision, but when I look on the right, before it was when I was looking straight, it was really uncomfortable. I was wearing an eye patch all the time like a pirate. And, and number two, he noticed when he, op uh, he looked at that MRI, something that he didn't see when he opened me up is that I have another two cysts. Um, he said they're, they're about this big and one is a smaller. Mm -hmm. So his concern is that he doesn't think the medication that I took for 30 days will kill this other two cysts because he didn't lacerate those two cysts. The other one is lacerated, so you know the medicine can penetrate and kill them, but the other two he doesn't know, so that's why he sent me to two other uh, uh, doctors to get a second opinion to have something called ventroloscopy, which means is they, they do surgery here on my brain and they go with a tube in my brain and they go inside the ventricle where these two seats are and then they will lacerate it. But I went to UCI here in Irvine and they told me that they couldn't do it because the ventricles had already collapsed. So there's no way they can do go in there because they will damage the brain then you know you always get a third opinion so then i went to um, ucla to get uh, from the board of directors at there of the neurosurgeon uh, i went there um, last month 
and they also told me the same thing. Unfortunately, they cannot go in there to do the the ventriloscopy on my brain. The only thing is, is right now wait and hope that the medicine that you took for 30 days has killed these two cysts. And then I asked them, well, how will you know they're dead? Uh, will the MRI tell them? And I said, well, the MRI will only show us two things, which I have an schedule for the next MRI, August 25th. You see, they will show us either they're there or they're not there. But it cannot tell us if they're there, alive, or dead. So they, the MRI cannot tell them if they're alive or dead. So the only thing is, is they have to wait for my own body to tell them if they're alive or dead. And I said, well, how long is it going to take that? And I said, well, your own body will tell us. So that's why you're not out of the woods yet. So like right now, you know, I just pray and hope that when they do this MRI, there's nothing there. Um, you know, we'll see what's going to happen on August 25th. But he said that if they are still there, I will get the same systems that I did in May, which is a terrible headache, you know, but they don't know when would that happen. If they are still there, he doesn't know how long it will take for those two cysts to take effect to do what they did now. So what the doctor is recommending is, is if that ever happens again, he said, you will know right away the symptoms. So, you know, because you, you will tell us you're not feeling right, you're having a horrible headache. So the brain will start swelling again. So that's when we will be able to go in there again, when the ventricles are expanded, and then we can go inside there and probe and uh, lacerate the two cysts that are in there. So right now I'm in like this waiting period. They tell me I'm not of the woods yet, so I have to wait. Um, my other ne the neurosurgeon that did my surgery, he, he said that he would like me to start in six weeks again the medicine treatment for another 30 days. So I asked him, how come you didn't keep me for like two or three months on the medicine? Because of the toxicity. You know, we don't want to create toxicity in your body. So they only keep you for 30 days. They take you out. Um, he may want to do two or three rounds of the medicine again. So, you know, I, I just, I'm trying to keep a very good attitude and being positive and, you know, hope for the best when they do the MRI in August 25th, um, that, you know, nothing is there, doesn't show there. But all of this came just from eating pork. Exactly. So if you could send a message to people around the world about pork, what would that message be? Well, let's do what the Muslims do. They don't eat pork. Jewish people don't eat pork. And now you wonder why in those countries there's zero, zero, uh, 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 no sister sarcosis. In the, in the countries that you find the sister sarcosis is Latin countries, uh, North America, uh, parts of Europe, and Asia. But in, in the Middle East, you don't find sister sarcosis. You know? It's not it's, worth it's, it. No, it's not. For, for what happened to me and what I learned, um, it's not worth it to eat it. It really not. But as you were mentioning, it's not just you. Yeah. People uh, all over the world have gotten this parasite. Yeah. And they don't know. Some people have it. They don't mm -hmm. know they have it. They're, they're, they're either misdiagnosed. They oh, don't yeah. know what it is. Or it's not reported. And you, uh, now that you say misdiagnosed, let me tell you what happened. 